Welcome to Miss Pam Reads. Today we are reading Zootopia, The Big Case. Zootopia, The Big Case by Bill Skolan, illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. Judy Hops is a bunny. Her parents want her to be a carrot farmer, but she dreams of being a police officer. Today, her dream comes true. Judy is the first bunny to join the police force. In Zootopia, anyone can be anything. Judy moves from Bunny Burrow to the big city. The city is exciting and noisy. It is also very crowded, but everyone gets along. Judy will help keep Zootopia safe. Judy reports for duty. She wants to solve crimes, but her job is to write parking tickets. After a busy morning, she sees a fox. She thinks he looks sly. She follows him. The fox is named Nick Wild. Nick tricks Judy into buying a Jumbo Pop. Nick uses the Jumbo Pop to make little popsicles. He sells them to the lemmings. Back at headquarters, an otter is reported missing. Judy tells Chief Bogo and Assistant Mayor Bellwether she wants the case. A picture shows the otter with one of Nick's popsicles. Judy tricks Nick into helping her with the case. Nick and Judy visit a yak. He saw the otter in a car. He remembers the license plate number. Flash is a sloth. He can find out who owns the car. But Flash is very slow. It takes hours to get the information. The information leads to Manchas, the Jaguar. He is the driver who picked up the otter. Manchez turns into a savage beast. Nick and Judy run for their lives. Manchez disappears. Judy and Nick search videos of the scene. They see wolves take Manchez away in a van. Nick guesses where they went. Judy and Nick sneak into an old hospital. They find the otter and the jaguar. There are other savage animals too. A door opens. It is Mayor Lionheart. He knew where the savage animals were. A doctor tells him that stress turns the animals into savage beasts. Lionheart doesn't want the city to panic. He will keep the animals locked up. Judy records Lionheart on her phone. Judy and Nick tell Chief Bogo that the missing animals are at the old hospital. Mayor Lionheart is arrested for kidnapping animals. Bellwether becomes the mayor. The animals in Zootopia are afraid. Who will turn savage next? Nobody gets along, not even Judy and Nick. Judy quits the police force. Mm. Judy goes back to Bunny Burrow. Her dad tells her about night howlers. They are flowers that can make animals go crazy. Someone was using them in Zootopia. Judy returns to Zootopia. She apologizes to Nick. 
She tells Nick that someone is using night howlers to make animals turn savage. Judy and Nick find a secret night howler lab. The flowers are being made into a bright blue juice. Judy and Nick have a plan. They steal a case of the night howler juice. Nick and Judy hurry to the police station. Bellwether stops them. She grabs the case and forces Nick to take the night howler juice. Nick is turning savage. Bellwether wants to make everyone afraid. Then she can control the city. But Nick is not turning savage. He and Judy switched the night howler juice with blueberry juice. They recorded Bellwether with Judy's carrot pen. It was a trick. Chief Bogo arrests Bellwether. Case closed. Nick and Judy make a great team. They will keep working together to keep Zootopia safe. The end. Thank you for joining me for Miss Pam Reads. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll get an update when a new story posts.